there's just a lot of string manipulation that happens in a business. Like one day my boss would come to me and say, I got this data, they're full of addresses and I need to pull out the addresses that are in Georgia. Or I got these phone numbers and I need to know the area codes that are on the West Coast. Pull those all out. So that happens a lot. So it turns out that string manipulation is an extremely important skill to have in computer science. There's also one other place that happens a lot, and that's in coding competitions. So both from a practical standpoint, as well as for the specialized need of a coding competition, you need to be able to do string manipulation. Now you can do string manipulation in Java, you can do string manipulation in Python, you can do string manipulation in C, C++, all these other languages. It turns out there are also certain languages that are built for string manipulation. Like 40 years ago, when I first started my job at the phone company, there was a language called AUK, and these, this stands for the three letters of the computer scientist that invented the language. This K stands for Kernahan. Kernahan is much more famous for another language that he created. Anybody know what the language that is? That was a language called C. Kernahan and Ritchie made C. And uh, this guy, I think, is uh, a guy named Aho. He's, one, he's like a really famous computer scientist in his own right. I, I don't remember who the W stands for. Anyway, this was back then, 40 years ago, the premier string processing language. Then a newer version of this came out because the engineers at Bell Laboratories had a sense of humor. They, they called that NAWK, which stands for new AWK language. And that was around for a good 20 years or so. And then right as I was leaving, so that would be 96 or so, 19, a, a brand new language came out of the scene that basically replaced this and all a lot of the other text processing or string processing languages. It was called Perl. And for this lesson today, I was researching what is like today's big, hot, fancy string processing language. And I was surprised to learn that Perl is still king of the hill. And so if you want to do string manipulation, this is still the language to learn. And this is an extremely valuable skill to have if you plan to use computer science for a non-computer science use. In other words, let's say you're in a business environment or you're in some other environment that's not tech heavy you'll find that knowing this language will be helpful because you'll need to process data. Data processing is something that almost all businesses do. So that's a good language to know. Now, we're not going to learn Perl. We're just going to do our tiny little bit of string processing either inside Java or in some other platforms that I'm going to show you in a minute. I would not be surprised if by the time you get out of college, this Perl is replaced by some other language that can do the string manipulation even better.